Uh, cases where you have these autistic nonverbal kids yeah. who generally don't speak, mm -hmm. uh, but they're and, and they have they don't have fine motor skills, but they you know but they have gr kind of gross motor skills, and so they can point to on an iPad letters, uh, and that becomes a way for them to communicate. But oftentimes there's somebody like their mom or their dad who, uh, according to the telepathy tapes and according to uh, you know what Diane has found, they're able to, to communicate and see, for example, what their mom is seeing and whether it's a number or a color or a word that they're pointing at when they aren't able to see it necessarily. And so that becomes a kind of ability to either send messages or better yet to receive messages and to look at the other person's character. Now, I, I think Diane came to the conclusion that a simulated universe where everything is information would make more sense for something like that to work. So if we say, if we take the assumption that that, that actually happens, and there, there's a lot of people in academia who are like, nah, none of that stuff is real. But if we assume some of that, and most of, many of us have experienced this kind of thing, uh, what's the mechanism that would allow these kinds of things to happen? Mm -hmm. And an information-based reality where you can like look at the information somewhere else, you can render it, uh, is one way.